guides are braving the chill for a dawn flight over the city of Canberra. Come on, Indy. There you go. Yes, yes. Let's fly. Canberra is one of the few national capitals that you're allowed to balloon over. This is going to be, I think, really good. I just hope everyone put the correct weight on their sheets. Well, we know you didn't. When you get onto a hot air balloon, you actually have to sign a little declaration. I'm feeling guilty. <laughs> I did write down a weight, probably what I weighed about last year. Are you kidding? kidding me? You wrote down what you weighed when you were 20. <laughs> <laughs> well, I could have balanced it out. <laughs> We're going to get swooped. Are you nervous? Uh, I, am. I am. I am because there's, am. there's going to be a lot of gravity below us. This is something neither of us have ever done and there's not a lot of things left in this world that neither of us have ever done. I've oh. never known anyone that didn't enjoy a hot air balloon ride. No. I'm in the basket and I'm fretting. Oh, I hate heights. What's wrong with Emma? I am petrified. Just that moment before someone lets the shoot out before the noose. You'll enjoy it, I promise. OK. <laughs> Is everybody ready? We're, we're, we're ready. ready. Oh, oh, here we go. Here we go. Canberra, here we come. Oh. The power of hot air is amazing. I know it's a bit late now, but do we have travel insurance? <laughs> <laughs> With the 18 people on that hot air balloon, if everyone would have lied about their weight like Mark did, we were certainly going down. Wow. <laughs> this is amazing. How high are we right now? Oh, about 200 feet, something like that. 200 feet, and already it's one of the most spectacular views I've ever seen. This is really nice. Look at that sun. We have the sunrise in the distance, and it is just the most beautiful way to see a city. You know, I've always wanted to do this. I always pictured it'd be with a girl, but, like, this'll do. <laughs> well, you reckon about it, man? It's not too bad, yeah. Shit myself before. It's not too bad, is it? It's kind of nice. Yeah. Once you're actually floating into the air, it doesn't feel like you're moving, and I started to enjoy it. But if the wind was to pick up, I think it's going to be a different story. <laughs> oh, look at Parliament House from here. Straight over there. Anyone can do a flight in a hot air balloon, but what people don't realise is there are not too many capital cities over which you can fly. It's a bit of a competition as to where's the most hot air, here or there. You're flying over Parliament House, Lake Burley over Griffin, the lake, National over Gallery, all the, all the buildings, and it is particularly beautiful. Are you liking it, kids? Yeah, I think it's great. Yeah, I'm not really enjoying this. Tane, we'll come on. I don't like it. Why? Because this is not me. I like... What? I like... So that's why I didn't really enjoy it. Ewan, have you ever just come up here by yourself when the sun's rising? Put on some love actually on your iPad, played some share on your boombox, and just wept at how beautiful the view is. Because that's what I'd do if I owned a hot air balloon. I'd just go up there and weep over the beautifulness of the city. Generally prefer company, but. Next time you come up, I'll come up with you. We can cry together. <laughs> okay, well, you bring the tissues. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my, my, my. All this hot air doesn't come cheap. It is worth every cent saving for a morning. It's a once in a life experience. And the view was spectacular. Kangaroos, oh, heaps yeah. of them, heaps Roos. of kangaroos. See that fox running up on the hill? Yep. Look at him now, straight up there. 330 bucks, I think it's worth it, definitely. Yeah. I'm scared of heights and even I could do it and enjoy it. Imagine having a shotgun out of him going <laughs> Oh. Ten bucks for that skin. But maybe it's not a great idea to have a shotgun hanging out of a basket in Canberra. Probably not. I got a feeling that, you know, police may be called. <laughs>